Hi, Peg Keogh here from College Aid Pro. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to actually create your federal student aid FSA ID. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to studentaid.gov slash FSA hyphen ID. So you wanna to go to that page. And once you get here, you're gonna click create an account and then you're gonna click get started. Here you're gonna put in your name, just fill in all the requested information. Make sure you're careful when you're typing in your social security number and your birthday, because it's very important that that's accurate. You can click show SSN just to be totally sure. Then you're gonna create your username. And if it's already taken, it will tell you. If it's not, you're good to go. Put in your email address. Make sure you type it correctly so that they match. And then create your password. Okay, again, make sure those match. And then you and move forward. Put in your address. Down, and then your state. Uh, let's get the zip code in there. You have an option to put in a cell phone. Go ahead and do that. If you wanna get alerts and stuff, totally up to you. I'm gonna hit continue. And then you're picking your preferences. How do you wanna be communicated with by email or, or snail mail? Same thing with optional. I'm just gonna click by email and they've got your email and put in your language preference. Then you need to pick four challenge questions. So just go through and put in, pick your question and put in your, put in the answers. And you wanna make a note of these somewhere because these will be used down the road if you, um, if they want to identify who you are, basically. Okay, so then you go in there, continue. Now we're on step six. This is basically where they show you everything you've set up and you can edit anything. So if you did make a mistake and then you do have to agree to the terms and conditions, hit continue. And then they want to verify your email. So you're going to have to click verify. And then you'll have to, then you will have to put in the code that they send you. I went and got my code from my email. You plug that in there and you hit continue. Now you're verified, so you're good to go there. You can set this other piece up. Um, let's just hit continue and see if I can move forward just so I can show you. They give you this backup code. So you're going to want to uh, do a screen print or something. So you've got that saved. You can click, I've stored this backup code somewhere safe. Hit continue. Your account was successfully created. What's next? They're telling you again to remember your backup code. You will receive notification that your account has been approved, but that is the process to set it up. Again, a reminder, make sure that you jot down everything you put in there because you're, you, you're potentially going to need this and your, your FSA ID and password, you're gonna need over and over again when you're submitting the FAFSA. So keep all of that information in a secure place um, and you will be good to go.